Stephen had always thought of love as an effortless bond, a gentle embrace that made the world feel lighter. When he first met Doris, her vivacity was intoxicating. She had a quick laugh and an even quicker wit, drawing him in with her charm. He remembered the first date vividly, they laughed over dinner, sharing stories and dreams. But as months turned into years, the charm began to wear thin, revealing layers of a darker persona. Stephen found himself often walking on eggshells, unsure of what might set her off. Doris could turn from warm to cold in an instant. What had once seemed like playful banter became biting sarcasm. Each time she lashed out, he hoped it would be the last, clinging to the memories of their happier moments. Little did he know, these fleeting glimpses of joy would soon be overshadowed by her negativity, leaving Stephen trapped in a cycle of disappointment. Doris had a sharp tongue that could cut deeper than any knife. Arguments erupted over trivial matters, a forgotten date, a missed call, or even a minor mistake. The intensity of her reactions shocked Stephen at first, but over time, he grew accustomed to the emotional roller coaster. Her criticisms were relentless, often focused on his ambitions and choices. She would mock his career aspirations, saying he would never succeed, which chipped away at his confidence. Despite his efforts to please her, nothing he did seemed to change her disdain. Friends noticed the shift in him, the vibrant, ambitious young man was fading, replaced by someone more anxious and withdrawn. He felt like a shadow of himself, unsure of how to break free. He often sought solace in solitude, avoiding social situations that might lead to her anger. Yet, a part of him still held on to hope that one day, Doris would see his worth and treat him with the love he desperately craved. Then came Tessie, a vibrant breath of fresh air. They met at a local tech seminar, where Tessie's enthusiasm for technology matched Stephen's aspirations. Her bright smile and infectious energy stood in stark contrast to Doris's biting remarks. Tessie spoke passionately about her projects, igniting a spark in Stephen he hadn't felt in years. They struck up a conversation, finding common ground in their shared interests. As their friendship blossomed, he discovered that she was not just knowledgeable but also genuinely kind. With Tessie, conversations flowed effortlessly, and laughter came easily. They exchanged ideas about future projects, each conversation leaving Stephen feeling uplifted. Tessie made him feel seen and heard igniting a sense of belonging he had been missing. As they spent more time together, he began to open up about his struggles with Doris, feeling safe in Tessie's presence. It was a friendship filled with encouragement, unlike the weight he had carried for so long. The more time Stephen spent with Tessie, the more he realized just how stifled he had been in his relationship with Doris. He found himself laughing again, sharing jokes and dreams he had tucked away out of fear. Tessie would ask him about his goals, and for the first time, he felt excited to share them. They went for coffee, discussing everything from tech innovations to their favorite movies. Each conversation was a reminder of the joy that comes from mutual respect. With Tessie, he explored new ideas, pursued new opportunities and began to believe in a future that was bright and hopeful. She encouraged him to apply for positions at tech companies, helping him refine his resume and practice for interviews. He found himself inspired, motivated to push past his limitations. The contrast was stark, with Doris, he felt drained and criticized, while with Tessie, he felt energized and supported. This awakening became a turning point for him pushing him closer to making a life-changing decision. One evening, while they were working late on a project at Tessie's apartment, Stephen felt a rush of clarity. They had been laughing over coffee, surrounded by scattered notes and a glowing laptop. As the evening wore on, the warmth in the room enveloped him, creating an atmosphere of comfort and ease. Tessie's smile lit up the room, and for the first time in a long while, he felt truly alive. In that moment, he realized how far he had come from the relationship that held him back. 
He was no longer just enduring but thriving, and it was all thanks to Tessie. The connection they had developed was profound, and he felt drawn to her in ways he couldn't ignore. As they exchanged ideas and visions for the future, he knew he had to make a choice. This new feeling of hope and possibility was exhilarating, igniting a fire within him that he had thought extinguished long ago. That night, he called Doris. His heart raced as he prepared to break the news, the weight of his decision heavy on his shoulders. He had rehearsed the conversation countless times, but the gravity of the moment was unlike anything he had experienced before. When Doris answered, her tone was laced with annoyance, clearly irritated by his call. Stephen took a deep breath, summoning the courage he had gained from his time with Tessie. As he spoke, the irritation turned to disbelief then anger. He felt a mix of fear and relief, finally, he was standing up for himself. You think you can just throw away what we have? She shouted, her voice cold and biting. But he stood firm, despite the knot in his stomach. I need to think of my happiness too, Doris. This isn't working anymore. With each word, he felt lighter, reclaiming a part of himself he had almost lost. When the call ended, Stephen felt a strange sense of peace. He was no longer bound by guilt, he was free. After the call ended, Stephen felt lighter, as if a weight had been lifted. He took a deep breath, allowing himself to feel a rush of hope. He turned to Tessie, who had been quietly supportive throughout the phone call, and found her smiling at him, pride shining in her eyes. It was a smile that told him he was not alone that he had made the right choice. They spent the rest of the evening talking and laughing, sharing dreams about the future. With each moment, their connection deepened, and Stephen felt a warmth blossoming in his chest. As the days turned into weeks, he embraced his newfound freedom, focusing on his career and his relationship with Tessie. The contrast between his past with Doris and his present with Tessie was striking. He no longer felt drained but invigorated. This chapter of his life was one of possibility and growth, and he was eager to see where it would lead. Eventually, they took a weekend trip together, hiking in the mountains. The fresh air and stunning views brought a sense of tranquility he had been missing. As they climbed higher, Stephen felt a connection to nature that mirrored his connection with Tessie. The journey was filled with laughter, shared stories, and moments of quiet reflection. When they reached the summit, Tessie turned to him, her eyes sparkling with joy. In that moment, surrounded by nature's beauty, Stephen knew he had found something real, a partnership built on trust, laughter, and unwavering support. He realized that true love was about growth and mutual respect, not about enduring pain or hardship. Standing there, hand in hand, he could see a future filled with promise. This was what he had longed for, a relationship that nurtured both of them, allowing them to flourish together. With Tessie by his side, he felt ready to embrace whatever came next, full of hope and excitement for the journey ahead. Looking back, he felt a sense of gratitude for the lessons learned from his relationship with Doris. Each challenge had shaped him into the man he was becoming stronger and more self-aware. He understood now that love should elevate, not diminish. Tessie not only cherished him, she inspired him to chase his dreams, pushing him to reach heights he had never imagined. The contrast was profound, what had once felt like a burden was now a source of joy and fulfillment. This realization filled him with appreciation for the experiences that led him to Tessie. Their love was a breath of fresh air revitalizing and freeing. He had learned that it was okay to prioritize his happiness. With Tessie, Stephen felt empowered, ready to take on the world. As he looked to the future, he knew that he had chosen the right path, one that promised growth, love, and endless possibilities.